Okay, so I'm two sets in on the Medex Avenger leg press. I did a set of 10, and then I did a set of 5. Uh, pretty decent weight, pretty heavy weight. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do uh, more time under tension. And I'm going to change the variable. I'm going to put my feet a little bit closer together. And I'm going to try to get into a piston type rhythm, a, a constant motion type rhythm that's going to continuously keep the tension on all the muscles of the lower body. Except with the calves, of course. And what do I have? I have 500 pounds on here. <clears throat> and that's pretty substantial for a uh, high rep range. It wasn't too long ago that uh, uh, 400 pounds was a high rep range for me and 500 pounds was <laughs> a, a very high rep. I haven't really done a high rep with 500 pounds. Uh, I did 400 for 30 with uh, and this. I call these mid range partials, MRPs. And I always like to incorporate them. Uh, into my training. And this will be my third set, and I'm probably going to call it quits after this, the three sets. So I'm only uh, 15 reps in, truly, uh, on my quadricep or lower body workout, uh, but they were very, very intense set, or very e efficient set. I, I, did, I didn't hold back. I took a long break period between sets, 7 to 10 minutes, which you didn't see, and uh, then I, when I get all calmed down again, and I, I feel that I'm ready, I got my mind wrapped around it, and, uh, and I believe I can harness the most power, then I get back in. So I got 500 here on here now, I had to take all the other plates off, and just mill about a little bit, check my uh, videos out. So we're going to do some mid-range partials. If I get any knee pain or anything like that, I just stop. Yeah, that's the key, don't try to force it. I forced it before, and I really regretted it. <clears throat> you don't want to have to lay yourself up for a couple weeks, you'll be crying. At least I cry anyway. <laughs> hey, so you can see the difference in the, in the, just clicking this seat up one click out of the squat. You know, that's an astronomical gain in my power. And my legs don't really know if I'm in the squat position or if I'm in the middle position. And only knows the, the amount of uh, torque and the amount of stress and the amount of tension that you got to put on. And so that's why I'm always favorable uh, to do, do up in the 90 position. Now I'll confide in you, the reason why I was doing it down in the squat position was that I hurt my back. And I hurt it really badly just using 90 degree linears. Uh, because I was busting a thousand pounds continuously on it, I did something to the right side of my back. Now I got three blown discs from squatting when I was 34, and it still crops up. It can be chronic. And so I did something very bad to my back, and it was just killing me. I couldn't use my hip press. Uh, but I, I decided, well, let me change the stress other than flat on, 90 degree. Let me put this seat down, change the complete pressure, absorbing it all up here and set it down here, and it worked beautifully. So I was still able to pound the hell out of my quads in the squat position. So that really pleased me because if I didn't have this machine and get down in the squat position, I would not be able to work legs. It just was too painful. I could do two, three hundred pounds, which is nothing, and once I got beyond that, it was too much pain in my back, and uh, I, would, I would get skewed, it would spasm. And so this machine saved my life as far as training my legs. And, and you can see in my past videos, I kicked ass in the squat position in this. Absolutely no back pain at all. If I'd have gotten the linear, it would have killed me. I would have walked away just very, very upset because I would have been able to work out. So, but my back healed. I did uh, maybe three, four weeks continuously down like this. My back is healed. And uh, I realized that my back is healed when I did those 50 rep sets over BJ Penn because that's up in the 90. And if my back was still hurt, that would have wiped me out. I wouldn't even have done five reps. That's how bad my back hurt. So uh, I go through injuries too, but I work around my injuries. I try to think about how can I, how can I shift around my injuries. And this in the squat position, I was just laying in bed one night. I was upset. You know, I can't work my legs. And I thought, wait, David, you do have the Medex Avenger. See if you can put it down in the squat position. See if that shifts the stress off the lower back. And boom, I was training pain-free. I was very, very happy. So you get an injury, don't give up. Try to work around it. Think how you can work around it. Right now, I have no pain in my back whatsoever. I kicked ass on that last set. Totally. And I got it, you know, it's not in the 90 right here, but still, it's up enough to create low, lower pressure here. I could have put it in the 90, but I don't want to risk it. I'll work my way up. But it still felt great. <clears throat> okay, mid range partials. MRPs. Don't knock them. You don't got to go all the way down. You don't got to go 90 degrees to put a lot of tension on your quads. You truly, truly do not. You know, 90 degrees is applicable because you're going to incorporate that glute and hamstring in, which is fine because that's power. Uh, but you don't have to. A lot of, uh, a lot of the top guys uh, only do mid-range partials. Very, very heavy. 
I call them mid-range partials. I never heard of it before, but uh, that's a good term. Other than uh, at least not going full range of motion. I'm doing it on purpose. Mid-range partials. That was awesome. That was 26 reps to 500. My record on 400 was 27. The record on 400 was uh, 30 mid-range partials. I damn near banged 30 to the 500 now. So that really pleases me. Power's up. Knees feel good. Back feels good. And uh, it's just going good for me right now. And uh, right now I'm dieting. I don't know if you noticed, I'm a little bit leaner. I changed my nutrition. Cut out fat and sugars, and just eating uh, lean protein and carbohydrates, just cream of rice, oatmeal, and regular rice for carbohydrates. A lot of fish for my protein. That's it. And I'll have some berries for sugar, a little some raspberries, a little bit of banana. And uh, 245, I'm going to get down to 232, 230, and really lean it out. Hopefully, I can be at 6% if I do it right. But it's already coming off of me. As soon as I changed my diet, I urinated a lot off, a lot of water. So I'm looking leaner. And uh, I just want to wrap my mind around it and don't get too upset when I start losing weight and, uh, or losing size. And with the loss of size, you're going to have a little bit of loss of power. That's just the way it goes. I just got to accept it and keep pushing on and do it and try to get totally shredded. Killer leg day today, man. Records all the way around. I took off yesterday, too, so that helped. I had a complete rest day. I traveled back from Oahu, back to here. It's only a 20-minute flight from uh, Oahu to Kauai. So it's not that bad. So I took off, and so I was excited about training and doing legs today. Finally back to do legs today in my element, my machines. So that pleased me.